Hello, this is Warlord. Today we're going to take a look at simple character animation. We'll be using the Timeline and Motion Puppet to animate our characters, and then we'll save that animation using the Collect Clip feature. We can then take that saved animation and apply that motion to another character, which is something else we'll do. Now before I get started, a particular email asked why I always use male characters in my tutorials. Why didn't I use female characters and something that would appeal to that base of users? Okay, I guess if you take into account the fact that my screen name is Warlord and my preferred genre is action paced by body count, I think you can understand why I tend to do this. However, to be fair, I will lean towards ladies today and we will have Gwen as our main character and her friend the Amp Suit Mech from Avatar. So we'll do a little bit of compromise today, okay ladies? So let's get started. The amp suit model is from 3D Warehouse. I took it into Studio Max and added a basic biped. The hands are not operational, but it was exported as a non-standard character, so it can use iClone motions, including motion puppet and mix moves. We're going to place Gwen in the mech, then we're going to animate the mech. We will then use that animation to drive Gwen inside of the cab, so that it appears that the mech is mimicking her motions. Let's select Gwen and let's go ahead and move her up inside the cab. We don't have to do this perfect just yet, but we can kind of see where she's going to fit. Something like that. Now since we're working with two characters, we can't use attach because you can't attach a character. You can attach something to a character, but you cannot attach a character to anything. But we do have Link available. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to link, and it's going to link to spine 1. Now, in order for us to make sure that we've made the link properly, we can always go ahead and test the animation. So let's go ahead and with the mech selected, open up the motion puppet. And let's just preview, we'll use board. Okay, now you can see she's inside the cab and she's moving with it. So we're linked up with her. What we want to do next is use a persona so we can move forward uh, in one of the easiest ways possible. And personas have built-in movement. The mech does not have a persona itself. So with the mech selected, go to the actor tab, persona. And in this case, let's go ahead and select Dylan because it not only has a walk, it also has a run with it. And it runs what we want to use. So once we've selected that, right click go to move run forward and just click somewhere on the screen so it runs forward okay now what we need to do is go ahead and add a second action and in this case we're going to go ahead and use uh, the motion puppet so with this character still selected go to animation motion puppet and let's select natural 2 and so we don't have to deal with a lot of jumping around 
let's go ahead and use the mask feature and let's mask out the legs so they'll stay in place. There's still going to probably be a little bit of a jump. Let's preview it. You'll notice it jumped down just a little, not much. That way we're not really moving across a lot because these legs are locked. So let's go ahead and record some of that motion. We're just basically getting some motion to work with. Okay, that's good enough. Stop. And if you do save your project along the way, this would be a good place to save it. So let's go ahead and let's check our transition between the two motions. Since we locked the legs down, there shouldn't be any jump. Yes, that's very usable. So now we have our base animation done. So what we need to do is open up the timeline and what we need is to collect the clip. So we press collect clip, hold down our left mouse button and cover the entire clip. You can always hold down your left mouse button and select whatever bit of it you want. In this case we're going to select the entire clip. We want to right click, add motion to library and we'll call this our motion. Now we can close the timeline and what we can do now is come into Gwen. We want to go all the way back to the beginning of course. We want to reset our timeline back to one. We want to go to our custom motion, our motion, and let's double click and load it into Gwen. Now you notice that Gwen is running out in front. That's pretty simple to correct. Just open up the timeline again, go to the motion, right click, and reset the pivot. Okay, let's go ahead and move in a little. This will uh, give us a better look. And now you can see she's mimicking the motions inside. Now if you did not want her to actually run inside, actually move her legs, you can always come in, remove motion, and in two separate times you could remove one from the right leg to come back in and remove from the left leg. And then she would just be moving from the waist up. So it's pretty versatile. Now it didn't take us long to get this done and to use that motion to go ahead and drive the animation of another character something that may look like a complex move is really very simple you just kinda need to think it out and plan it out I hope this helps you some oh and ladies don't forget I did use a female avatar <laughs>